Okay, this project may or may not be relevant to you. Uh, I plan on putting up a website on phprocks.com, which is phprox.com. But I started a project a while back, and I used a lot of this project for uh, a web development uh, website that I built for somebody else. And I really don't need this project here anymore, because now that I'm doing the videos on uh, PHP Rocks, I want to... Uh, uh, do something entirely different here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open my FTP program, which is FileZilla. And if you missed the FileZilla uh, FTP program tutorial, uh, go back and find that now. And you would download FileZilla. Here's how you're going to back up your files. I'm going to my server, and I'm already in it, so I'm just going to hit refresh to make sure that I've got the absolute latest version and this is my server and this uh, particular server is on GoDaddy and PHP Rocks resolves to a directory called quite naturally PHP Rocks so I don't want to lose these files entirely because this was a template that I paid money for so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and go over to my local machine which is over here on the left and I'm going to just climb up into my websites directory and I can see that I don't have PHP rocks in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a directory I right click and create directory and this is going to be PHP rocks underscore old because I'm going to put all of the new files that I'm going to build with the system in uh, PHP rocks so I want to want to make sure that I don't overwrite those so then I'll just right click the very top file on there and then I'll hit my shift key and uh, click the the bottom not right click left click and then I will right click at this point and I will hit download and you'll notice I'm downloading PHP rocks into PHP rocks old because I want to save this and then delete it all from my server now, if you're just backing up your files, you, you can go through the process without deleting everything. Now, we can see in my queue, I've got 1.1 megabytes left in the queue, so I'll probably try and talk through this, but if I uh, get to a point here where it seems like it's taking too long, then I'll just go ahead and pause out. But this is how you uh, download files. You create a folder in your local system and then you just download those files to that and it's also probably not a bad idea to just do this in a secondary backup folder because if you make a lot of changes and you hit a point where you get lost and you want to go back to the old site you can always do that so now my files are all downloaded and uh, this step you might skip unless you're getting rid of everything inside of a directory but in my case, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these files off of my server because I don't need them there anymore. And I'm, we're, we're going to build an application that's going to show you uh, the last 10 or 25 videos that I have on my channel. And this is going to be a placeholder for PHP Rocks while we build the news uh, room. I think the news uh, feed system that I'm about to build is probably more applicable to you than what I'm going to build on PHP Rocks. So uh, for that reason and that reason alone, I'm going to go ahead and do the news thing. Uh, I want to say first, but it's actually going to be second because the first thing that I'm going to do, and you can see that I have no files under PHP Rocks, but the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put an application together and that will be my next video. And that application will put the latest videos that I've put up, up on YouTube on the front page of PHP Rocks so that you can find all those videos in one place. And that's that for this. If this has helped you and you like it, uh, please give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe. And pretty soon here this evening, we'll go ahead and put the page together that's going to show you my last several videos.